Awesome. Another student over here is now seven on the board of Papa. I now land on the father of Achieve Sweat Row Senior High School. The father of Achieve Sweat Row Senior High School is Mr. Michael Kamale Kwasi Daunu. He's, he's very hard working. That's what I can say about him. Let's pray for him. And if he keeps long over here, this will be transformed. Thank you. I'll tell you the full name. Oh, you can add a guy name. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Samuel, to tell you what. In fact, please, let me tell you that I have a small mark, so I can't raise my voice. <laughs> so that is how best I can amplify my voice. Now, I think your team is back to our roots. Good. Then the prayer more. I, I came to Edu Senior High School, also known as Akis. Triple S. It's one of the leading second cycle institutions in the eastern region of Ghana. The school, the school was established in 1970 as a body day and co-educational institution with a community initiative. The school is located on a high grounds about one kilometer away from Achim Suedu Township. Ladies and gentlemen, coincidentally, we were urging the district assembly to turn our school rules. So yesterday, the sword was cut for the commissioning of the road from here to town. Oh. <laughs> and you mustn't forget your Motto, perseverance brings success. I'm also using that as my yardstick. When I say I need something from you, I'll pester you to the fullest. Yes. <laughs> and let's look at our vision. To turn out God-fearing, well-balanced, and self-confident boys and girls who are capable of a dynamic world in the church. Whilst making the most of every opportunity of self development and service to mankind. And that is what we are seeing today. I think. Now, let me introduce myself fully. My name is Taolo Anoman, and I'm a deputy director of education. Mm -hmm. I was first appointed as a headmaster of St. Bibbequai Senior High School in the Western Region in 2008. I worked as a teacher and an instructor for 34 years. I took over the reins of the school. On the 22nd of March 2011. And lo and behold, I face a lot of challenges. I don't call them problems, they are challenges. They are some of to the administration, and that has worked tremendously for us. Let's look at the students. We have a total of about 2,480 students. <laughs> and the current form ones, we requested for 372. But according to somebody in the, uh, on the radio, he said the, the computer. <laughs> the computer gave us 700. 
And that computer, if I'm if I'm able to get the computer out. Now look at the numbers. As compared to the time we were here, you see that we have a very big challenge ahead of us. As the population has increased, infrastructure is still stagnant. It's still at its old position. But we are a bit relieved especially the girls' side. And that is where we had a lot of problems. How to accommodate the girls. We are forced to make three in one verse for the girls. The best you were using as single verse have gone around to pick the bits and pieces, to put them together, and then have raised about 20 three in one pieces of beds. Which can I take? which can take about 60 students. And our student is still on course, as the original that the minister has given us a dormitory for the girls. It was formerly the first day he came in home. Now, yesterday he came and changed it, looking at the population. He came and changed it and made it a three-story building for us. This morning was a resource, 2011 resource. We registered 374 and 280, uh, 287 had eight passes. No failure. No failure. The, the West is four people who had five passes. The West, four people had five passes. The rest, six, seven, eight. And we even have a student who set a record. In a science subject, he was able to clock six A's. And most of our passes were in the range of A1, B2, and B1, B2. So our students our student did marvelously well. And I want you people to thank my teachers sincerely for that service rendered to me. Now, the room we are, now use, we are using right now was formerly your library. library. But looking at situations, this room is a very small room. It cannot contain just large numbers. So eventually, a staff common room. So this is a staff common room now. But why is the library? That's the question. There are two rooms given to us for ICT. We are converting one into a library. And it's on course. But we have problems. I told the board this morning. We have serious problems. Challenges. Oh, yeah, challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the correction. Problems than boys. A man's hard getting pop, 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 and we are sleeping. That is where they also perform their activities. And we hope that by this, we will also find an to that. We have changed the school terminal report. And it's now computerized. When you finish with your raw source, you hand it over, and then they will key it into the computer. And we have pink colors for SH1. If you see the reports, pink color is for SH1. Also, the terminal builds has, have also been computerized. This makes peeling very easy for the school. My humble appeal as administrator and on behalf of the teaching and non-teaching, and the students' population. 
we wish to sincerely welcome you back to your alma mater and we pray that throughout your stay here, you will all make a mindset of helping the school in any form. In any form. Additionally, the whole, the whole school bless you and you have a fruitful stay and send you back home safely. Thank you. Most grateful thanks to the headmaster of the school for the speech that he has given us. In fact, he has really exposed to us the challenges, as he rightly said, that the school is going through to see how best we will come to rescue our community. Uh, I also want to use the opportunity to also uh, introduce Mr. Mumen Sam and Mr. Headmaster Kwanchi to you. They are now with us. Woo! Okay, so you know them very well. No, 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 The old students, we are now heading the ball. Yeah. And whatever goes wrong or right is on our head. Now they've made certain appeals. When we get back to Accra.